sandwich harm. This is the one thing they could not afford at all this season. Obviously, this puts us in a, in a tough spot, just a random basketball play. Bad news for the Warriors and basketball fans. During last night's Warriors loss, Steph Curry fractured his left hand. The two-time NBA MVP will have an MRI and CT scan, and the team will determine whether he needs to have surgery and what his recovery timetable will be. Golden State is currently 1-3 and three so far this season, and obviously we know Clay isn't in action. Can I, can I say something really quick? Because last segment I kept saying 11 outs, 11 outs left. Yeah. It was eight outs. It was one out in the, in the seventh inning. He pitched six oh, to the no third. Oh, no worries. Yeah, eight yeah. more outs. Yeah. So that, yeah. that no. lends itself more to Stephen All A's good. argument. It happens. Uh, let me ask you this. Yeah. How bad is this for the Warriors, Stephen A? It's devastating. Right. It's devastating. This season's over. Uh, let's just call it what it is. The season's over. Um, keep in mind that before Steph Curry got hurt, they were down 29 points in the first quarter. How does that happen? That's how horrific their defense has been. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to preface my comments by saying this. I hope Steph Curry has a full recovery. I love this brother as a person and as a superstar in the NBA. He represents everybody incredibly, incredibly well. Him and his wonderful family and the whole bit. And I don't want anybody to take this wrong because I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. I'm actually happy he's hurt. Doesn't bother me at all. What did I tell you? What have I been telling you since this, before the season began? I said, will he make it? My number one concern as I sat up here. Yeah, you did. I kept saying. You said he's going to take Yo, yeah. they go. Now, yeah. that didn't happen yesterday. Obviously, on that play. But it was a You know, with guys sliding under, trying to draw offensive fouls from the weak side. They got to do something about that. You know, I, I mean, I get it. But what I'm trying to say to you is I don't want. I, Steph Curry still has an awful lot left in him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we will have been able to say that had he played this entire season with well, what? other teams were going to subject him to without the services of Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson. My number one concern was what he's going to physically be exposed to because the brother is an elite player and the greatest marksman, the greatest sniper this game has ever seen. And without Klay Thompson, I don't like Steph Curry out there by himself. Not against these dudes. So my attitude was when he went down yesterday, I'm like, he'll be fine. It's all, he, all right, he broke his hand. He's going to feel left he gonna hand, be a, not the right the hand. Rate, yeah. The left hand. I hope they exaggerate it. Even if he's ready to come back in two months, I hope they say six. I hope that I don't see Steph Curry again this year. Because that means when he does come back, Klay Thompson will also be back. And oh, by the way, they will have taking D'Angelo Russell or whatever else they have in their staple and manipulate that into getting an even greater asset okay, to wait. pair with Clay and right. Steph. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see Steph exposed out there with, 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 with a bunch of novices because they got like nine new faces, nine, rookie, nine dudes under 23 years of age. I don't want that for Steph Curry. So I'm glad he's out. All right, and I don't want to see him again this year. That's where I was going. First props where it's due. You said that he's not going to make it through the year if he because of the offensive load he'll have to carry and the way they'll be going at him. Now, that was a freak thing yes. that happened. However, it was apparent so far that – Guys were, it's not just that they were falling, they were falling and swiping at him. Yep. People were doing exactly what you, they, you said they do, and ultimately he hit, is hurt with a hand injury, even if it was a freak kind of thing, so you get your props. Um, I agree this is actually a good thing for the Golden State Warriors, um, and, it, and you touched on it, your last point that you made. D'Angelo Russell, you know why he had the value he did last year? Due to injury, he got to start, and he was a high-usage player. He's not an extremely efficient player, D'Angelo Russell, though not that inefficient. He's a good player who looks a little better than he is when you give him a lot to do. That's what's going to happen right now on the Golden State Warriors. D'Angelo Russell's going to have a lot to do. His stock will consequently go up. And they will be able to flip him because I've been saying the entire time and Golden State says he's in their long-term plans, that's clearly nonsense. I don't think D'Angelo Russell's a fit for them on the court. I don't think he's a fit for them in the locker room. I think they're going to flip him. And even if you sit here and go, yeah, but Max, if you know and people on TV know 
that his go he's going to look overvalued, D'Angelo Russell, if you play him a lot, then other GMs know that too. Yeah, but it's human nature. When you see a guy actually go out and do it, average over 20 points, bunch of assists, make highlight real passes and stuff – you, you wind up emotionally overvaluing that guy. That's what's going to happen to D'Angelo Russell. Furthermore, it did not look like the Warriors were going to win a lot of games this year, even with Steph Curry. They're dra they'll, they'll, they'll be better off understanding what the real mission is for the rest of this year, building up the assets so that when Steph and Clay comes back, they come back to something. Well, let me tell you this. We all should pray that they don't come back to this. Because, once again, the Warriors looked absolutely atrocious last night. And there's simply no excuse for looking this way defensively. I'm going to repeat. They were down 29 points in the first mm -hmm. quarter. How does that happen? You have most teams in the NBA that have a difficult time scoring 29 points in the first quarter. They were trailing by 29 points in the first quarter. There's something severely wrong with this franchise defensively right now. But there is no excuse they for it. Wait, but look, I, I don't know what you mean about, about effort, but a lot of it is, especially as defenses and offenses are the way they are, defenses have to be more sophisticated now. It's not just effort to the extent it used to be. Think about this. If you had a defensive problem on the perimeter, let's say, and you imported any one of the following players, last year's version, you might say, ooh, that kind of fixes the defense. Livingston. Iguodala, Clay, KD, any one of those guys might fix the defense. They lost all four. You lost. Any one can fix it. They lost all four like that. Poof, gone. Of course their defense is going to be hurting. I get it. Not like this, but of course not that's like a this. Take. That's all I'm can, saying. Can not I, like this. I ask a question. How much of a positive or an advantage will this be for them next year, though? I, that clay, Steph, full year off, well, essentially, I, I and they just, could add I another piece. I think they piece. need it. I think we have – listen, this is what I mean. We have to take into consideration these guys are five-time Western Conference champions. Long five seasons. Five consecutive years. Over 100 games each of the last five years. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that their bodies have toiled. So when you look at it from that perspective – Look, man, they need a break. They need a break. It wouldn't bother. Listen, I, I, this sounds bad, but it wouldn't even bother me if Draymond ended up getting hurt. He's been playing, right. too. Keep I in think mind. they all need a break. Keep in I mind. I think they all need a break. Keep in mind. Really? You know, they traded all those draft picks yeah. and everything. Like, the Nets have their pick. Not if it's a lottery pick. If it's a lottery pick, the Warriors keep the pick. Yeah. You're so, right. So, so, so I didn't even think about for, where they might They're finish. not going to win a championship or yeah. even challenge for one under any circumstances. If you lose KD and Clay and get and, – and now they actually get Steph rested, yep. Clay hopefully coming back to what he was, with – a exactly, pick. and I don't feel like it's a huge hit because the West is still so good. This isn't like years past where they were the only game in town. All right, so we're wishing Steph, of course, a very speedy recovery and Clay as well. Not speedy. Take your time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Take your time. You know what I mean. Imagine if, the, if they really right. get a great player right. in the lottery this yeah. year. And, the, and the now you're paired with Steph, continues. Clay, and Dre, and right. they're all hungry. We got to leave it there. In case you guys missed it, stay tuned because you'll hear the best of our exclusive interview with Kevin Durant. That was a lot of fun. He came on set with us just about 30 minutes ago. You'll get his thoughts on his new teammate, Kyrie Irving.